Hey folks, welcome back to Shadow Empire. Um, I want to apologise if you can hear a fan in the background whenever I'm talking. Because uh, it's like 27 degrees in here today, which is... Doesn't sound hot for some countries, but for Scotland when it's <laughs> averaging like 15 degrees. Like even even in the sort of spring. When it hit, when it does hit 27, it's feel you really feel it. Um, and yeah, my noise gate should, should cut it out apart from when I'm actually speaking. So I apologise for that, it's just... Um, if you can hear a bit of a hum in the background, it's literally just because it's hot. Okay, where are we? We are on round 52. And um, yeah, I've been having a bit of a think about this game. I think what I need to do is get more bikes out and kind of explore as much as I can with fast moving stuff. Uh, this is partly after a kind of, after a comment I had one of my viewers who kind of suggested that Expanding with infantry is not always the best thing to do and the problem is with this game is I, it's I've got so much I've got so many credit, you know, ne such a negative uh, credit cash flow that uh, I'm struggling So I think what I'm gonna have to do is if possible um, We need to start transitioning now into uh, into Where are we into enforcement? I'd say so I'm going to try and get enforcement up. We've we've actually got free market and uh, opportunism. These are really, two really, 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 really good profiles to have in commerce. I'd like to have had um, help wealthy friends as well, but that's you've got to go a fair way into that. I think you need 60. Yeah, you need 60 for that. And I think at the moment now, enforcement is going to be more important. I've got the bureaucratic bonus from bureaucracy because um, I'm going into government. And I think now I'm going to try to go into enforcement if I can. So we're going to be on the lookout for any decisions that basically mean that we need uh, that we're going to get enforcement. Let's have a look at what happened in the history. I don't think there'll be a whole lot. So those troops. Oh yeah, we got attacked here too. The guy, uh, the troops that I put into that encirclement uh, moved out. Uh, at least some of them. These guys couldn't. They decided to, to stay and attack. Uh, we actually lost a couple of hundred troops there, and we'll push back. This is on the western flank. Um, yeah, look at these guys. Let me remind myself. Uh, it's been a while since I played this. It's been a week or so since I've uh, since I recorded the last bunch of episodes. So, and I'm kind of getting a bit confused with the multiplayer game I've got going on now. So, let's have a look at this. What? What? Okay, those rifle threes are good. I'm gathering. I'm, I'm guessing. Sorry that these are not rifle three here. Where's the HQ? Oh, there we go. No, these are just rifles, and rifles are garbage look uh, they're just slug throws so we want to get rifle twos up now i think let's move these guys back and let's get them let's get them um upgraded because it's just so it's such a bad idea to be you know to have have troops just throwing troops away essentially like that i think we're going to do uh yeah we're going to start bringing these guys back and then i think i really want i need to get out here Really, because we need to. I, I really want to push up to these mountains as much as I can, but I think I can probably do that with these with these bikes for the time being. Now, oh wow, they've really got not much in the way of in the way of supply. They're okay there. I think there are a lot of troops here as well. Let's get these guys back anyway. I want to try and get them back as quickly as possible. Um, I don't mind expanding with militia. So uh, these guys, what are these? These are an independent infantry battalion. Oh yeah, they're staying on this zone. Okay, so let's just keep those there. Um, decisions, right? So we we were going to move Bob Alihans into into the staff council. Let's just have a look, see if we've got any more cards. Um, if we're lucky, doctor, loyal extractor. Oh, we don't have many political points. Um, yeah, and I don't want. I don't like having those leaders just hanging around, but in reserve because they end up just get they end up rebelling. So I think I think I'll leave it. I'll put Baba Ali hands in there for the time being. He's not he's not particularly suitable. Um, that said, he will become suitable very very fast because he is capability four. When Burke. Okay, it's because she's already got some skills in high command. That's why. Okay, uh, this is staff council. So here we go. It's, I, I don't actually usually get someone good in Staff Council. I'm kind of in tr interested to see what that's going to do for me. Um, I mean, obviously being able to generate more strate uh, OHQ stratagems is going to be pretty handy. Right, we need to get some we need to get some motorbikes up. Uh, first of all, though, we've got to make some money. 
Let's just have a look in the construction overview and just remind myself of what we were constructing. Okay, so we've almost got a supply base at Visa, and then we've got a truck station one and an agricultural zone all coming up next turn. Uh, I think in that case, we probably want to leave. We don't want to build too much. We could probably get some bikes out. Let's see where we can... Oops. Independent battalion. Okay, motorcycles. The, pro well, the reason... Um, yeah, it's logistics here, so... 100, 157. Right here. Where are we? Here we are, 100 by motorcycle. Okay, so let's get these, these guys up here, these riders. Okay, that'll be, that'll do, that's all we can really do there. Yeah, we can, we can actually get them this far out, look. Let's go get these guys up here. Um, And we'll, we'll, what we'll do is we'll start, you know, just using bike troops, basically, to uh, to do my expansion for a bit. It's probably, you know, probably a better idea. Oh, for some reason they didn't get that. Ah, oh, that will be because of the um, the, the low mountains that they're sat on here. Okay. I think that's going to be about it. So this is going to be a pretty short turn. Um, there is a little bit of movement down, uh, like uh, exploration to do down here. And we've got a middle, uh, military vessel. Or well, this thing is called military vessel. No, it's called derelict spaceship and it is a military vessel. Uh, that's going to give us research bonus points. I want that. So let's go and get that if we can. Uh, I'm just going to start moving these troops up this way too. And yeah, we're not getting any logistics points out this way for some reason. Did we use any this turn there? Yeah, we did. Okay. Just that we've li we literally used all the uh, resources. Okay. Um, all the logistics, sorry. There we are. Third infantry. And... Got a militia. Uh, we obviously got a militia that's just cropped up there. I don't remember putting him there. So, yeah, I think that's about it for this turn. There's, um, again, as I always say, there's not a whole lot I can do. I don't know if I checked the vidcom. Let's just have a quick look at that. Uh, merit meritocracy. Well, okay, so we actually failed a we failed a promise here to the sacred school. That's not ideal. It's less. But it's there's just been a patch actually. I've just installed it. And um, <laughs> after Daz Tactic was complaining about various bits and pieces, it looked like Vic changed a load of stuff. And one of them was um, the frequency within which the uh, factions will ask you for demands, basically. So I don't know how I feel about that. I, I thought it was about right. Um, I, it, it's never really bothered me, to be honest. I, but um, I, I guess it must be bothering other people because they're complaining about it. So... Um, investigate leader. Yeah, this is just normal cards that we've got. We've got, we're starting to get, be able to get stuff like spy teams now as well. I want to save some political points though, because I've got an idea of something that I want to do in future. Um, so yeah, I think we're going to, maybe we can carry on playing player friendship to Varot here. Okay, that went up 12 points. Now, they're going to be a 100% relation, I think, with us now. Yeah, I think they already were. I think what we're going to do is we we'll try to get. Um, I want to see if they will actually move out of blackmail. Now I don't know if they're hard. They're hard locked out of that. It's possible because of the uh, setting that I've got it on with the history class. Okay, folks, I will catch you in the next turn, which is going to be round fifty-three. Hi, folks. Uh, quick addendum: I actually forgot to move some of my, my troops. I'm just um, I'm playing a little bit too quickly, so. Um, we've got some we've got some motorbike troops to move down here. They need to get back into supply though, I think. So I'm going to move those back. I'm going to drop them down here so they can be ready next turn once they're fully supplied. Uh, we've also got this situation here. Now these tr these guys are all out of supply. Look, um, don't think there's much we can do here. I need to get these ones back. So let's get these few back now those these guys should be in supply here i think i think the problem is they're not getting enough like they are they are technically within pickup range look but they're not going to be getting enough um i'm going to move i'm going to try to reduce the amount of troops requiring pickup on that road and that's probably going to be the best thing to do let's get these guys back
Uh, the only other thing I can think of doing maybe is trying to trying to force some pull points down this way. But your guess is as good as mine as to whether this is going to work or not. No, it doesn't look like it's going to work. So um, it will be. It's it, this. The issue here is this: is the points, the uh, logistics action points. I think, and that's the problem here. Now we've got this is a supply base one. Now I suppose I could, I could actually, I I could actually get another supply base up here. The problem is I'm building a few things already. Well, the hospital f was finished this turn, but we've got the truck station and the agrodome going up, and there's someone else as well. Uh, what was it? No, that's it. It's the truck station and the agrodome too. Uh, that should be finished next turn. I think I might try to upgrade this supply base. It's going to be two rounds though. But that will increase the, the points going out. One, two, three, four, five, six. I think it will push it out a little bit further. So five. Yeah, it starts dropping. I think it starts dropping off here. Yeah, look. Um, extended 50 from northwest. I think it's at this point then it must start dropping. Uh, 70 out of 50. Oh, sorry. AP 70 50. Extended 50 50. I forget what this all means now. I'm gonna, I need to go back and read the rule uh, manual. It's been, it's been a while actually um, since I've kind of like done this stuff. I think the last time I really gave the manual a thorough read was when I was playing the Life on Seth uh, series that I was doing. Uh, anyway, that should be it. I'll, the other thing I've done is I've actually played a card to get credits because there's no, we've got no other way of making credits at the moment. Um, so that, yeah, we need to we need to get credits pretty fast, and uh, yeah, the only way I can do it is by spending fate points to do that, I'm afraid. Okay guys, that's going to be it. I'm going to roll the turn on. Hey folks, this is round 53. Um, okay, so yeah, looks like we started getting some supply in here, look, now onto this, onto this, uh, this flank. Yeah, they're not, they're not starving, which is good. They don't, they're not going to be very ready. The readiness is going to be dropped. Uh, those are 100. We really need to be... I think if we're going to do this, we need to be attacking in with everything that we've got. Um, although, I don't like... I don't like attacking with machine gun infantry. They don't like it. It doesn't seem to work very well. I don't want to lose those bikes. On the other hand, they're pretty knackered anyway. Let's try this anyway. Let's see what we can do. I'm actually doing this before the uh, usual stuff that I go through, but I, I need to get my recon points up. Okay, let's see what we can get. 2.6, 4 point... Okay, what's our commander like again? I forget who he is. Is this somebody that we don't want to die? He's okay. Yeah, he's got good intelligence, look. Kind of don't want to lose him. Um, at the same time, I, I kind of need to kill these kind of quick. Um... Let's go through the other stuff first. I'll think about that later. Have a look at the history. So you'll see that the uh, these marauders are just moving around. They attacked us and they couldn't get out, basically. Uh, Vidcom, decade of fanaticism still going strong. Um, we've discovered physical storage. And there's some cards. Now. Just remove that overlay. Let's have a look at the decisions for the turn. Uh, motion that the number of victory points reach at least uh, 20, 23.7 six, by turn 61. Yeah, I don't know if I can do that. I, I think that's going to involve either drastic pushing into other territory or a very, very quick war. I don't think I can do that. I'm going to say no. Oh, meritocracy decrease 5. That sucks. That really sucks. Um, yeah, I was close to getting. I could have got this martial tournament, but that's that's unfortunate. That's happened. Um, we need to get that back up somehow. It's not that difficult now, to be honest. Uh, we don't need any of these. I'm not bothered about these councils yet. Okay, let's, let's see what else we can do. Try and rescue this this miserable game.
I say miserable not because I'm not enjoying it. Uh, more just because it's just kind of like difficult and slow. Okay, look, we've got we've got troops here. Let's move these guys back. Um, yeah. By the way, I think I did the right thing here by moving these troops up here. By moving these 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 guys back. Now those can be moved that way. I think. I think I've, I think I've overexpanded, and I don't I don't think there's much more I can do about this. You got to be you got to be really careful, with Shadow Empire, because it's it is a classic 4x game and it isn't and i i mean if that sounds like a weird thing to say um i'll explain it's not a classic 4x game in the sense that you can turtle and still win sort of sort of but it is because you can't turtle and, <laughs> and win so um if that sounds completely contradictory and stupid i, I have actually thought about this it's not just me being silly um, yes, you can. You you do have a better chance than most forex games of being able to sit back and tech up, but on a, um, at the same time the AI will expand like just you know constantly, and it will start getting victory points over you. And so you've got a better. You, it it kind of let's say that it decreases the amount of time that you've got. Sorry, it increases the amount of time that you have in order to deal with things like this. Look at the victory scores. Look, Schwartz Mark. 31.7 points, mostly because they've got a decent population and more planet. Uh, but uh, yeah, we're we are dra we're lagging behind. So yeah, um, this this situation with being able to turtle, all it does really is gives you more time. You think about the kind of like power curve that you've got to, you've got to achieve by a certain point in the game. It kind of gives you it gives you more time to be able to achieve that. But it, you can't just sit there and do nothing. It like that that you will lose, especially on you know harder difficulty things like I've got it on here so you, you can't do that so I do need to kind of think about how I'm gonna you know kind of fix this dreadful game <laughs> let's get these guys back and I need to get these into a position where I can start replacing the troops um, I don't want to be losing loads and loads of troops and there, there will be things to fight out here um, okay we're still going we are still got serious problems with money cash flow is really bad uh, I, I could do with trying to get... I think I'd have to start scrapping some cards and then trying to um, look out and get a... you know, um, some cards that are going to push me up into enforcement. I think that's going to be... that's what that's what I've got to do. Right, I'm going to sacrifice those guys a little bit to get this military vessel. Um, let's just push these a little bit further back as well. With a little bit of luck we might find some more metal. Okay. Now we've got loads of metal. Um, now might be a good time to start getting up some more assets. What I mean by that is buy more industry. Let me just make sure, let's have, check our construction report and just see what it was that we've... Okay, we've just got that truck station going uh, to go up. Um, next we could put this second supply base up. That could be a, that could be a job. The alternative is I'll be able to just build another truck station down here somewhere. Oh, that's what I did. Okay. Oh, I remember now. Okay. Yeah. So, Texas Fort here. This is actually a truck station. We're going to end up with really bad administrative strain, though. But I wouldn't be surprised if it's kicked in already yet. It hasn't yet. It will do. Um, so, yeah, that I might have to zone this. I think that was the idea of me putting it here, wasn't it? That I was going to, I was going to have a zone because I remember thinking that this would be a nice defensible position in case, in case Varrot did attack. Yeah, that was it. Okay, I remember now. All right, yeah, my thoughts are coming back to me. So, move these troops back, get them into a position where they can do something. Get these bikes out here. Um, this we we should start receiving the food for this uh, um this second uh, this uh, second level of Agridome pretty soon. Yeah, I think everything else is kind of okay. So, I mean, what we could do, uh, I could go for industry. The problem is with industry, it is going to chew through my through my power now. Yeah, we're losing five hundred and forty six turn. We got loads of power, so that's not a big problem. I think more the the issue might be more the uh, the staff. Mind you, it's only three hundred workers. Look, that's nothing, is it? Well, it feels like nothing. Um, 
industry would be great because it, it means that we would be able to start pushing out yeah we can do it we can do this let's go for it let's upgrade our industry um round 53 god it's so late isn't it for getting industry 2 i mean normally i'd have got that probably by about turn 30 or third i thought depending on the map yeah that's about it that's all like that's about all i can do i've got to start figuring out a way now so that, that i can actually get into enforcement so that means i'm gonna to have to start scrapping some cards like these minor cards we can just scrap all these there aren't any miners on this map so uh where are we scrap mode there we are scrap 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 uh covert ops let's just scrap those port faction i'm not bothered about um we kind of want to find things that are going to be life support failure, which this one do. Random zone will lose 2d6 population. Yeah, I'm never going to play that <laughs> on this map, so let's get rid of that one. Um, paranoia, I forget which one that is. You see, these only give you one scrap point each. I don't think they're worth scrapping, actually. Um, how much for scrapping some of these? Uh, these are only one as well. Ancient Depot. Three random ancient artifacts. I'm going to scrap that. I don't think I'm going to need that. That's eleven scrap points as well. Okay, let's see what we can. Let's see what we can make. A submissive defender. Oh, that sounds like a terrible idea. What's happened to all the? Um, what's happened to all the assets that used to be able to get in this? I don't see any assets. I don't know if maybe I, I have to. Do I have to do them here? Who knows. Uh, right, let's get rid of these. Oh, damn it, I played it accidentally. <laughs> Whoops. Scrap mode, please. That's what I wanted. Okay. Prospecting push is useless at this point. Um, mother load I don't care about. Get rid of that as well. Okay, right, let's let's craft stratagem here. Let's see if we can... Oh, there we go. Alright, so I think what it might be I might be doing is I might be playing them in the wrong place. So maybe by playing them in nation, you're getting nation-specific cards. I didn't realise it worked like that. Um, it's kind of interesting actually. I wonder if you can get, you know, decent cards up here. Um, let's scrap some of these. I can't use all of these anyway. Especially Blitzkrieg. Unenforce. We need 20. Field training might be handy. Entrench is a good card. Hold, hold the line is a good card, but I'm going to get rid of those. Let's see if I can just scrap a few more. Uh, ah, that I won't scrap. Um, I'll scrap that just because I need the points. Right, let's, so let's go back to, yeah, stay in zones. Let's just try another one. Statist private hospital. Uh, that gives you government. That's still a nice card. I mean, even if this is going to, you know, raise me up in ways that I don't really want, that's still that's still not a bad card. I will be able to use that. Eventually, I will want to go back into government. At the moment, I need enforcement, though. Uh, this feels like a bit of a random way. It's like playing roulette. I don't think I'm going to get too far with this. Um, yeah, not a lot I can do with that. Tax is a problem. This, I mean, this... I don't know if it's a game-ending problem necessarily, but it, it could potentially be. I've got to figure out a way now of getting, of making money. I can't keep, that the slave trader cost keeps going up in, you know. I, I don't mean cost for political points. I mean the, uh, I'm not going to do it now because it'll, it'll, you'll, I'll have to actually spend political points in order to call the, to call Lola Beat Hands to talk to the slave trader. But essentially, it, the, the, roll, uh, the dice roll you need in order to extort him becomes more and more difficult. But like the last time I looked at it, it was, it was a bit beyond her ability to be able to do. So I think, yeah, I'm, I'm struggling a little bit for money. And, I mean, what are you going to do about it at this point of the game, really? I think that uh, we're just not going to be make making enough from Treasury. We could try raising income tax. I just don't, I don't think it's going to go up enough for it, for it to be really particularly impactful. Oh, God, I said impactful. What a horrible word. Um... Let's try it. Okay. So we put the income tax up. Let's just see if that helps. It might help a little bit. 
and that's about it. Again, I don't think there's a lot more I can do here, and I'm probably going to end the episode here, guys, so I will catch you in the next episode. Hopefully, hopefully we'll start having a little bit more luck. Really, kind of pushing out into the zone is my best bet of finding stuff for money, you know, like finding money and things, things to sell. Um, we Look, I mean, rare metal's just not worth anything. I don't sell these high-tech parts. I'm going to need those. I think that, you know... I don't know. I'm not sure. I'm not sure how to go about this. I suppose I could try and figure out what it is that I'm spending all this money on. Now, it might be the, you know, we're going to be spending a lot of money feeding our people with the Agridome. I might have to reduce worker wages. That's one thing. But when, then we're going to get, take a big hit to happiness. Although we might be able to get away with that. That might be an idea, actually. Let's have a look at that um, treasury cash flow overflow. Sorry, t treasury cash flow overview. Losing 100 credits here, mainly from directors and soldiers. Yeah. Hold on, salaries and bonuses. Yeah, this is, uh, so the, the vast majority of our money is coming out of, is from workers. Um, so, yeah, what are you going to do? Work, reduce worker wages basically that's the only thing I can do the problem is I've got a few zones at the moment where the workers are not going to like that in fact work happiness is going down already um, yeah I'll have to have a think about this and figure out how I'm going to deal with it because it's um, yeah it's been a bit of a problem alright folks catch you next time